Hi Scorpio, this is your reading for the month of February 2022. I am going to apologize as I've apologized to all the signs. I'm getting very, very tired. Uh, I haven't been on YouTube for about two years with my videos. Uh, I was dealing with illness and so I am recouping and uh, I'm getting very tired. I have a few more videos to do, so instead of uh, stopping it now, I'm gonna continue, but I am tired, so be aware of that, and I don't look as perky as I should. But this is going to be for the sign of Scorpio, and it is going to be for February 2022. Now, three cards jumped out, and the cards are talking about your root chakra, your base chakra, so where you belong, where you've basically planted yourself. So it's talking about your home, your your home, your career, your finances, okay? And it's talking about where you are right now and how it makes you feel. Do you feel secure? Do you feel secure in your career? Do you feel secure in your finances? Are you feeling a little bit shaky? Are you able to afford to live where you're living or how you're living, okay? now? Another card that came up, because three cards fell out of the deck before I had a chance to even take them out. And the next card that came out was ear, the ear um, card, okay? And that talks about listening, listening to your in intuition, listening to your ideas, listening to your inner thoughts, okay? When something keeps coming up in your thought pattern, okay, it usually is your intuition or your spirits trying to guide you forward in some way. And perhaps you're, you're thinking about things very strongly at night perhaps you're even taking time to meditate or to do yoga in order to find a, a semblance of balance in your life to find out where you want to go and how you want to get there okay now it does talk about you searching for some security in your life and some stability so that you can ground you need that roots you need those roots in your life you know everybody loves adventure but Scorpio, you in particular in the month of um, February are looking for a sense of adventure but still wanting to have roots, to have a place that you can call your own where you know that you belong and you feel secure, okay? Now the next card that came up is the um, intu intuition card. It's intuitive feeling. Now I have to check this. I have to see what this says. Yeah, say it's talking about your body and it's talking about your health. And it's talking about you know that something's taking place in your health. You intuitively know that either the stress is getting to you, maybe you're maybe you're being overworked. Maybe you're being overworked. You might be uh, working as a healthcare uh, aide or a PSW or a nurse or a trucker or uh, in the trades, okay? And maybe you're being worked too much you're taking too many hours things are falling on your shoulders and the responsibility is starting to get to you okay so when this comes up it talks about taking care of your health taking care of your health taking care of the mind the body and the spirit so perhaps you need to cut back on some hours perhaps you need to stop focusing so much on the finances in your life and find that stability mentally find that stability mentally and emotionally and spiritually okay not everything is going to surround money okay not everything is going to depend on money I mean it would be nice to have it it would but you know we can make do we can make do and perhaps that's what you need to do perhaps you're pushing yourself to reach a certain level in your life and you know what Pushing yourself as hard as you do to reach a certain level in your life is taking its toll on your health. Now, what good is money if you're not alive to enjoy it? So this is just putting, uh, putting a thought out there for you to think about and indeed start taking care of your health. And this has come up for a lot of the signs and there's a lot of stress and a lot of uh, chaotic energy around, okay? So perhaps you need to pull back some of those energies and focus on your health and your mind, your body, and your spirit. Take care, and I shall see you in March. Namaste, my friends.